Hello, Mooncakes! In today's Idiot. video... Um, hello everyone. Um, lately everyone been asking about my own strategies and secrets with Aphelios. So in this video, I gave my first coaching session live on Twitch. This video took me so long to record and edit, so I would really appreciate uh, like and subscribe. Thing is, this is only the first part, and we couldn't even get into the real game because of the, all the details. Please feel free to ask anything, and let's get into the video. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the uh, weapon order. So you start wasting red at the beginning. Change your weapon. Yeah, waste red. Yeah, while, while I'm uh, teaching you other stuff, I'm gonna... Okay, talk the minions down. While I'm teaching you the stuff, I will give you the small details too. I, I will try my best as a game because there's so many details, so I will always add. Whenever, whenever, wait, wait now, wait now, wait now. Don't waste it, don't waste it. Uh, get your mark, get your mark. Okay, so whenever, when you're gonna start using your Q with the Severum, 80% of the times, I want you to hit once before it. So, go hit the target uh, dummy and then use your Q. But you do you have to do it really quick to uh, make the animation cancel, you know? So yeah, that's that's it for that. Okay, so wait for me please. Every time that's uh, on the level one, level two, level three, when you waste your first red uh, weapon like this, you're gonna switch to uh, grab them and it's gonna be always like this because our uh, weapon order is always the same. So basically you will get a free mark with your purple. So that means it's a guarantee stun. So you're gonna waste your red like that. You're gonna walk through them and just run away back because when you get your mark in a uh, lower than a second, it's a free mark. You're gonna run back and you have the furthest range when you have your marks on them. So you basically, uh, even look at your distance with the uh, dummy right now. Even with the, this distance, you're gonna able to get your marks, stun them, and swap your weapons and get your another mark with your caliber. And this is the maximum damage in the game in the level two. I think one. Of, it's not, but it's one of the best damages the traders in the level two in the bot lane is definitely it. So. You have like okay. three skills in level two or level, level three. Imagine how broken it is. And it's a free yeah. stun, you know? Okay. So after we uh, waste our red weapon, we're going to get Calibrim. So we're just going to waste waste the um, same thing. So I change your weapon and waste Calibrim now. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. So you have this weapon. You ha see your range. So yeah. it's it should be a muscle memory to you after some time. When you have this range, you have to... Know that you have, have this range, so you have to hit from back. Even if it's a training right now, don't get that close because just go go close to him, go close to the target dummy right now. So first thing, imagine this is Zed, this is Talon, this is someone else. What you gonna do in this close range? You can also uh, miss your caliber. Like try try to go really close to uh, dummy. Like imagine you're hitting something. Like try to throw your caliber Q, and imagine it's the, the target is moving so it's so hard and then you're gonna swap your weapon and stun the person like it's just a waste of time you're, you're just gonna die so always use your distance hello AG so yeah just keep hitting don't use your skill for me just hit so stop 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 like there's so many details okay nobody will tell you this so whenever you hit I don't want you to move front and back like this this is a chessboard right this is there's a geometry so Imagine we are at the mid lane no, right now. We are not at the bot lane. It's not early. When you hit the target, I want you to move to right side. So hit the target, move to right when you have Calibrum. Yes, like that. Now other side. Hit other side. Hit other side. Now this side. Perfect. Perfect. But you get closer to target. So did you see that small detail? It's so important. Because if you if you lose that detail, every other ADC is going to have the same range with you. Or you're not going to be able to use your range against the assassins or whatever. So do that again for me, please, before you finish your weapon. Um, so, stop, stop, stop. You have to hit move, hit move, like, you're wasting a little bit of time, you have more attack speed than that. Hit move, so you're so, you're so close right now. You're dead. So, yeah, yeah, this is perfect, this is perfect. Yep, see, okay, stop now, stop. Stop, 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 don't waste it. Okay, last ammo, so, when, when you have low ammo, when you, when you get to the lower from the 10, when you use your skill, that means you're out of that, uh, weapon, so, uh, I taught you about Octopus combo, and I'm gonna teach you again, uh, later. So, when you use Calibrum, when we have this weapon, when you use your Calibrum to Octopus combo, you're gonna waste your Calibrum, which gonna uh, left your mark, markless when you use your ult. So, just a reminder, okay? So, do the Octopus combo for me right now, and I, uh, you, you guys will see what's happening right now. So, use your Octopus combo. Okay, you did it wrong, you did it wrong, hold on, stop. You have to use your uh, Calibrum Q-Force and then ult for the next time, okay? So, you you see that um, you ulted them, you get your mark, and then you saw it was obviously tough. Anyways, continue. So, we waste purple after that, because we just waste Calibrum, now we waste purple. So this is a basic weapon. You you do the same thing. Whenever you have this, you you I, I want you to feel the power. This is a free stun. No matter who it is, 
of course there are different situations too, but in the generally no matter who it is is it team fight is it 1v1 is it just trading i want you to take this gun and you have kraken power just hit them so go back come back come back come back to the turret so i want you to just walk this is simple just walk hit the target and stun just walk hit stun so if it's a target dummy or talon doesn't matter everybody gonna stay there and wait for you to do your next combo so we just had uh calibrim last time when you do this this is a guaranteed calibrim hit this is a guaranteed uh, Calibrim and Octopus combo alt hit. Or this is a guaranteed Infernum Q hit because your Infernum is so short range. So it's really hard if you don't get close to them. So when you do this, it's also guaranteed Infernum hit for you. So I want you to go, use your purple weapon, stun the target and swap your weapon and use your Q. But I want you to hit once with your Infernum. Yeah, like that. It's perfect. And after this, you can alt. And this is the bur uh, maximum burst damage that you can do in level 6 and level 9 because you will have these... Uh, rotation in these times so even if, if it's 1v1 this is the most burst damage that you can get out of this duels okay just a reminder okay waste the purple for me please now oh, okay so this is the part that uh we're gonna swap stuff this is the part that we're gonna make our weapon order right so we're not gonna uh, wasting uh crescendum here we're wasting infernum but very important details can you put two more target dummies for me please a little bit at your right side yeah far yeah that's good that's good that's good so don't waste your weapon uh, emotes for me. So I want you to. So when you have this weapon, you have the maximum potential of damage again in the game. If you do the things right, you're so strong. You can uh, one v two, even one v three with this at this level. This is broken. Uh, in the League of Legends universe, there's so many uh, basic coding like mathematic. Like hey, if you do do this, and you will get your reward champions. I don't know. For example, I'm gonna give you the example of Felius right now. It's the same thing of if you hit. Uh, more than four or five targets with your infernum you're gonna get crescendum stacks if you do this you have the most strongest closest uh, damage uh, in the game so this is the if if question here so in when you have this duels in the level five level six level eight i don't know level four level seven it depends um there the, there might be three waves coming to you if they're pushing if you organize it right which will give you at least 12 to 15 stacks like it's broken as hell if you have four stacks, you only want anyone in this game in the right situations. If you have six or seven, even if you're in, not in the right situation, you win the one we want now. If you have 10, 12, 15, that's like just flash into them and one me five. Like, of course, don't be crazy like me, but, you know, read the situation and you can even get quadra kills, triple kills, pentacles. Like, this is this is so important, okay? Crescendum is so important here. So, I want you to go, okay, uh, those three target dummies right there. I want you to go. Hit them once and then use your Q. Before you do anything with this champion, I always want you to hit once. This is this is a part of our kit too that I'm gonna explain our build too. So I want you to go hit the targets, the middle one. Oh, not that, not that. that that's that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That that lonely target is the target that we're gonna kill after. Okay, that's that's the Caitlyn. The three things are minions and that's Caitlyn. Okay, we hate Caitlyn. Caitlyn should die. <laughs> okay, so I want you to uh, auto once to the middle one because uh, AOE damage, right? We have to hit all of them. But of course. We have one problem here. He's in the middle, so he's a little bit further. So that means you're uh, getting closer to them. We talked about the range thing at the beginning, remember? So yeah. keep in mind, it's always up to you. You have to read this when we play the game later. You have to hit the one who is right. So hit whoever and get three stacks from them. Listen, keep listening. Don't do it yet. Okay. Uh, get three stacks from them. And I want you to do something extra. So I told you you can have this at level 5 or level 8. I don't know. It's up to you. But this time, in this scenario, you're level 6, okay? So you have all 2. So I want you to go to those targets. Get your 3 stacks. Swap your weapon. Leave your Crescendum turret to the uh, Caitlyn. And then ult and then flash into the, that person. And then just keep uh, autoing after. Do you understand? Uh, so I'm ulting the single target. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're ulting the single target. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I can explain one more if you don't understand. Uh, I just don't know how I'm going to hit all 3 of these. Uh, are they, like, not close enough together? Or... Um... So there's a geometry again, right? Oh uh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, that place, yeah, okay. A little bit left, a little bit left. You're so close now, you're so close. A little bit further, yeah, just, yeah, they're nice, nice, that's nice. So you can even walk a little bit uh, closer when you're gonna start hitting. Just hit them, use your Q. They're gonna be like, oh, we're gonna eat you, whatever, yeah, the perfect. So this is your last demo, be careful. You have 12, right? 11 or 12. So now you, you have to do this, this is your challenge, okay? Three, two, one, go. Nice try, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will tell you your mistake. 
So again, geometry. You were so close to the Caitlyn even before. So she killed you, and the three targets were kill you because you were middle of, uh, of everyone. So you have to be say like we don't have gale force. We are immobile. We can't um be position, but we have no choice. Yeah, perfect. So your position is right. You have to go a little bit left. So we have to stay away from Caitlyn. Like feel that like is like a spike. Okay, stay away from it. So walk a little bit. You have one ammo, so I don't want you to hit auto attack this time because you have one ammo. I just want you to hit, listen, Q Infernum. Swap your weapon. Leave your Crescentum to the furthest to the Caitlyn. Like, it has to be so close to Caitlyn, like, wherever you are. And I want you to be far from Caitlyn before you ult and flash in because we are flashing because we are far. So, and then after you leave your third, uh, flash and keep autoing. Let's go. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, no, 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 um... My do you want me to show you? Do you want me to show you? Uh, share my screen? Yeah, let's, let's try that. Let's okay, try so I'm going to teach you um, the style of mine, okay? it's There are so many styles, and if you go other players, other coaches, I don't know, they're going to start teaching you different stuff, which I don't agree with them. This is my own personal stuff that I really love, so just letting you know before we start. Uh, sure. Uh, I'm stuck in an advert right now, though. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So also, I will show you the exhaust. Uh, exhaust is our main thing because we basically um, fuck with everyone, okay? YouTube, I'm gonna cut this. We, we're gonna fuck with everyone, whoever that is. So uh, while we're getting close range with the gods, you know, stacks, and if the enemy is like three levels of ahead of us, we don't want to die before we do our damage. So exhaust is so important. So, okay, we got Kraken for you. That's wasting great first. And I'm going to show you what I'm, I'm talking about here. So we are level two, level three, I don't know, okay? Uh, we're gonna trade. Every game you, you can do this depending on how we did your support is. So, you're gonna go. There are minions middle of us. You know, doesn't matter if there are minions. Your Q always gonna target the enemy if you get in the red bar, okay? I'm gonna show you. So, imagine it's far so I can get the auto advantage that I told you the animation cancel. So, forget about it for now. Uh, if you're talking, I, I can't hear you anymore. Oh my god, I was talking all the time. So, I'm, go I'm, I'm going to show you everything that I taught you. So when you have your red weapon, we are level 2, okay? Every level 2, you're gonna do the same thing. Or level 3, depending how it your support is. If there's no bush, bush uh, pressure from your support, I don't know, but 90% uh, of the time you're gonna be doing this. So red is almost done. And your calorum has to be at uh, something like this, okay? Always something like this. Your ammos have to be organized like this. This is the weapon that you're gonna waste. Yeah, it has to be low, and this has to be uh, higher like this. Because in the game that is close, sometimes if you fuck it up, you can forget and uh, waste that ammo and ruin your weapon order, which is gonna ruin your game, maybe, okay? It's always like this. It's a muscle memory that you're gonna get after time. So normally, normally we hit once and then use the Severum. If you have to do this at the level 2 lane, yes, do it. But if not, there are minions here, support uh, pressures. You're just gonna walk like this, hit this mark, and you're gonna run away. See, so do you see the distance? So you're gonna use this, and we hit this. So it's a guaranteed stun, and we swap our weapons, and... It's another mic. So, you do this three skills when you're level two. So you do this like 60% of damage. In target dummy uh, armor is different. 60% of the damage uh, in the level two, level three. It's broken. Yeah. So after that, uh, you see the marking. So in the caliber, of course, you can get. So the thing I was gonna try to tell you about the stun guarantee hit thing. So if you have infernum or caliber, I'm gonna show you the infernum too. When you go here, you're gonna hit the target. And there are minions middle of us, right? You're not gonna use your Q then. You have to make sure there's a right geometry. So you're gonna come here. You're gonna hit this. Okay, you see. Okay, minions are walking. Okay, minions are gone. You're gonna hit this and change your weapon and hit this. Okay. Understand? Yeah. But if, if there's no one, if there's no one, of course, you just hit this, stun, and swap your weapon and do the same thing again. Number two. Number two. It, it's uh, so long distance or your uh, target is running away. Blah blah blah, and you can't get close range. Like this is not a long range, so you can't get this close. Or they're gonna kill you, right? Or your jungle is ganking, and you can't do that. Or you can just flash and do it, but it depends, right? So you can just um, do this. Okay, out of ammo. You get your mark, and then swap your weapon and alt, and it's another mark. I used with infernum right now, but if you you know if we had calibrum, I just had low ammo. But you get one more mark, and we're gonna send that to, and it's gonna trigger our second weapon again. So just to keep in mind, always you know. Basic mathematics. So, let's continue. So, we have these weapons. I told you about this. You hit this. In this one, you know, it, the bots are close range. So, Infernum is so close range too. So, um, this is a basic burst damage in the mid game, early game. If you're 1v1, if you had to uh, put your burst damage in, you're gonna come here. You're gonna hit this, this basically one more to it. 
See, but when we are sending our second weapon, I get another auto attack. Did you see that? Also, we triggered our Kraken two times. And I'm gonna show you something, something else again. Same combo with the alt. Watch this now. I, I, I'm on low on ammo, but uh, you guys will understand. Just when see. So watch this. I hit this. So, did you see? Before I use my alt, I didn't use it directly. I get one more auto attack before it. So it, I got, I got extra three attacks because of the animation cancel, which gave me one more crack impressive, which I always talk about. This is part of our kit, not an extra item. So it's so OP. Any level, mid game, early game, blah blah blah. Okay. So this is the combo that we, are, we were trying to do. So it's basic. I'm gonna come here uh, with the right geometry, right position. I'm gonna hit these targets. I'm gonna use my Q like this. See, it's not. A, I'm gonna maybe walk this way. Like these, even this step is so much better. See. So I'm gonna use use my Q, and then I'm gonna leave my thirds here, and I'm gonna flash in after the alt, of course. So watch this carefully. Do you see the 24k damage in lower than one second, two second? So the thing is, when I'm ulting from here, I'm already there. My turret is already attacking. So the this is a a Fedos is called setup. Okay, you all, all have so many setups. So you, you we did this while we're doing this. We get our auto attacks again for the Kraken thing, and then we flashed in, and I start hitting with my creation and stacks like this, but. My ult was on the air, my turret was on the ground, or was already hitting. So everything happened in a very short time. The other important thing about uh, Aphelios is when you have low ammo, we're gonna swap our weapon. So it's it's a little bit of animation, so always be careful when you because you're gonna wait and it may, may let you die. So this is the this is the moment that you're gonna get most crescendo stacks in your life. So we have blue, and this is gonna happen once. In the whole game, it's the same thing that I, I was talking about, these duels. But this time we have Severin. So this is a long setup, you don't have to do it. You can just uh, do the same thing and just kill them. But very rarely, if you need that much chakrams to kill them, it's in your decision. You have to do this. So I'm just going to show you so you can learn. So watch this. Watch this. So I'm going to get my same thing, okay? So I'm not ulting yet. I'm hitting once and using my stacks here. See? So right now, I'm not gonna ult. I'm not gonna ult because I have seven stacks. It's more than important. I'm just gonna kill the target. Oh my god, this target is dead and killing me, right? Oh my god. And I'm gonna ult with red, swap my weapon, and it's gonna give me a life steal. And I, I will, I'm gonna keep hitting. But if you don't hit the target, your crescendo is gonna cancel, so you always always have to be hitting something. So this is another thing. But if you have, want the most stacks, of course, you can ult the crescendo again, and it will give you like 12, 15, something like that. It's so broken, but always you have to read. Do I need health? Do I need more stacks? Do I need octaves? Like, you have to always know what you're capable of and do it. Okay. Next weapon. Next weapon. This weapon is the strongest 1v1 or second strongest 1v1 goes in our weapon order. But the thing is, you're going to be using this all the time, but sometimes it's so weak because we are not able to use our second crescendo turrets because it's so useless. Watch this. Watch this. It's like, it's like Gale Force tickling damage. It does nothing. In the very close fights, use it. I don't care. In the very, very close, close, close fights, you can also f freak your weapon order, but please don't do it. If you organize your ammos, you're going to be okay. So that's the thing. But never leave your turret when you have Christian. So I fucked it up. See, I have 80% of red and I have 20% of white. This is fucked up. So if something like that happens, please waste the red as soon as possible. Forget about the one we want thing. Okay? So here. No matter what happens, uh, you can start with your red like this, you can get your stacks, swap your weapon, ult, and get close range, or like you can just flash in. So this is just the basically one we one got, and you exhaust them, you just win, whoever it is, you know, I'm not talking about the situational things. So you always win, but this is so weak in the mid game, late game, or even early game sometimes, why? Because imagine they have Caitlyn, imagine they have Morgana, I'm just giving examples. So I'm gonna do this, and this is Caitlyn and Morgana, okay, this, this target over here. I'm gonna flash them, and and Caitlyn gonna flash this way like this. Morgana gonna throw me a stun from here, and I'm gonna be stuck here, and they're gonna be they're gonna eat me. So the people who kills themselves, they have escaped from th from that thing. You know, it's it's a skilled matchup now. You have to read, you have to play. Okay, you have to play, play, play. Caitlyn wastes her E, and then you know you're gonna do the geometry again. Like you're you're gonna look like an like a, a leopard. Like you're gonna look to your prey. You're gonna look it. If she's coming back, if she's an idiot. And, and then you're gonna do this, like, 
just get to close range because she has no escape anymore. No. But if she pulls the turret again and flashes away, you're fucked up again. So you always have to think in these situations. But if it's, I don't know, Olaf, like I have so many videos. A fucking 13 level Olaf versus level 8 me, like 5 level differences and he got 8 kills. I got 1 kill that game. He just came into me, oh, this is just a basic ADC. Okay, you don't go into Olaf, okay? So he's chasing you, you have to be like, go this way. So he's gonna be chasing you, he's gonna be coming here, and you're gonna be change your weapon, hit him once when he's here. Wait, let me let me put your put another target dummy for that. Chasing uh, like this, so you hit your stacks, I'm not gonna waste my ammo because it's the last. Imagine I use my Q here, and I get my stacks, and he's gonna be here this time, and I'm gonna swap my weapon. I'm not gonna use my ult directly, I'm gonna hit once because I have already 4 stacks from the red, and he's gonna be get closer to me this time here, and then, okay, this is the time, okay. I take the one we won. I put my ego. Like I didn't give us. So I I called this. This is my call, and I have to take the risk because I want the shutdown. Otherwise, we're not gonna win the game. So he's here now. The only thing you just ult. So you already had four stacks, and you get seven more, and it's not gonna be seven more because you had stacks anyways. But you get your ten stacks or whatever, and you're just gonna exhaust them and pray. Like you can put your turret down too, but make sure that you're not ruining your thing. So this is this is it. It depends who you against. You have to play in a different style. If you had Gale Force, what you gonna do? You you do no damage. But, but shield buff, just go in. You have life steal. You have shield. Buff. If you had Gale Force, it's a different scenario. You just don't take the fight. You just go away, kite yourself, and the person gonna start running back, and you're gonna chase. If the uh, enemy is no way, you're gonna Gale Force, and then he's gonna get shield, and he's gonna beat the shit out of you. Like it's it's a different scenario. I'm talking about only my strategy. So this is it. You just uh, risk it for the shutdown. Okay, we got we there are a lot more more details, but uh, I'm gonna skip because you know. And then uh, in here we waste our red. So here, okay, this is the another scenario that I want to tell you. We when we have low red and crescendo on the second end, it's gonna be 50% of ammo. Right now it's it's fucked up. It's only one ammo left here, but it's it's okay. I, I'm gonna explain you. So we're gonna get our stacks. So we're gonna switch to the most strong uh, duels for us, the second strong. We're gonna get our stacks like this. So what is this? Calibreman white. So this is the peel. Longest range, you know, surprise, 200 years, everything that they call about this champion is basically about that. Imagine I still have the stacks, okay, I don't anymore. I get four stacks from Severum. So what I can do is, of course, the same combo, but imagine uh, there are three of them and I'm not that fed. I can't just flash in, but or I don't have to do it, like any scenario. I'm just going to place my turrets. Okay, if I hit this, that means they are dead, okay? So right now I have purple, but I, with the white, that means they are dead. Well, if, even if you have purple, that still means they're dead. Of course, they're not 100% dead, but there's a chance that you can execute the person, whoever it is, if it's not, you know, if it's a squishy target, mid lane, ADC, squishy support, squishy top laner, I'm just giving an example. When you, uh, if they sit in on your target, now we're gonna go do the combo that I teach you at the beginning, the octopus combo, it's it's the most broken thing. One mar uh, mark means they're mostly dead, two marks means goodbye. And if you're fed, you don't even do the combo, you just get your mark and one more mark. So basically, uh, let me show, let me show it. You watch the weapon order again while, until I get that weapon. Do you see, like, even if I'm... I have to waste my weapon, like, I just I just can't click Q like this, but my muscle memory don't let me do it. I had to get my auto before I waste my Inferium, so... Do you see my muscle memory? I can't even change it in my own on the purpose, like, I have to get this. Like, I'm waiting, do you see? I'm not wasting still, I have to get that. Always, whatever you do. Like, even, like, I'm doing the same thing, like, without my purpose, look. I have to get that one auto, it's so important. Did you see? Okay, so how many stacks do I have right now? Uh, I have no idea. So I hit 12. So when you hit with Severum, you get 3 or 4, depending on what level you are. You get your stacks. So I'm gonna ask you again. How many stacks do I have right now? Uh, I can't actually see the stack count. I'm just stream of it. Okay, so it's, it's basically 4, okay? When you hit your Severum uh, Q, you get 4 stacks. So, what does it mean? Um, it means you have four stacks. <laughs> four stacks, yeah. Maybe, but I, you can just say, like, I'm strong. Like, I, I have the power of doing something when I have stacks. Like, you always have to feel powerful when you have your stacks. So, I'm going to show you the basic combo again. So, I have red and full white on my second hand. Okay, watch this. Watch this carefully. And after that, I'm going to ask you... Voice is love. Oh, okay, okay. I will do it. Um, after that, I'm going to ask you what happened. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Okay.
Okay, I, I fucked my one mark. Uh, I had one more mark that I could use, but I, I didn't use it. I want to do it slow so you can see. So what happened here? Uh, a lot of damage. <laughs> That's like 4,000 damage with one item. <laughs> yeah, so... I, I didn't even like... I just used... How many skills? Two. And the alt. And I, I, I get like... Eight, nine different things for no reason. So what happened was... I get my stacks with Severum, and I swap my weapon, and I had, I have, I'm feeling strong. Why? Because I got my stacks from Severum. And then what happened? I placed my turret. So when I placed my turret, I hit them. I'm getting marked. So every time, every time, when I get marked with Calibrum, see, I just get uh, one more extra crescendo. So when I have five crescendo, if I get my mark, my five crescendo that I have, going to target and hitting them. It's like five extra crescendo damage with the mark. And they are coming back as six stacks so that means i have six stacks now what i'm stronger so that was the third mark and then i'm using my caliber mark and i'm doing my caliber damage and i'm getting my mark i'm doing my mark damage and i'm doing six more crescendo stack damage and they're coming back as seven and then in the no uh, my turret hits one more time while i'm using my caliber and i get one more stack which means i'm sending seven and I'm getting that back as an 8. And imagine this math. Every time I do this, it's getting one more stack to me. And I'm doing that much extra damage. How many in the total? 7, uh, 14, 21, something 25, right? It's around 25. I get extra damage from 25. And then after I got all of those marks, like, the person is dead like 20 times already. But And then, I'm using my ults. There's ult damage. And then there's my auto attack mark damage. And then after the mark, I hit it one more time. Because I get the mark from uh, Caliber Vault. And I hit them. 8 stacks again and it comes back as 9 and target dead for 35 times and imagine target is not dead yet or there are other targets that I have to deal with what I'm gonna do is I have 8 stacks of crescendo what does it mean? Uh, that you'll have 9 when it comes back and you're gonna hit 8 times with the turret no I don't have turret anymore turret is gone I used everything so I just have 8 stacks okay that means power like I have 8 stacks Four stacks mean you beat anyone in, in the B1v1. Six stacks means you beat even the stronger people than you in the game. It's, uh, more than eight, nine, twelve stacks, you just beat them up. You just beat them up. Like, of course, there are situations if, if they, you know, stun you, if they outplay you. I'm just talking about general. So, when you have eight stack after all of those combos, I have my crescendo. Or every time that I hit, I reset my mark. So, my mark stay forever. If I don't hit for like three seconds, uh, I don't I don't reset my mark. It's gone. So I can just go in and kill the others or I can just take the kill and go back But of course, I'm so aggressive player and you don't have to do this I want you to do this and die because I want you to limit this and see your power So when you have those stocks, okay, imagine okay imagine right now I'm gonna do the same combo again so you can see imagine I get my stacks from several again shook, with the red shook, 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 shook. I got four stacks right now, okay, and I place my third watch this So another mark I got, see, so I have, um, I have right now three stacks and plus the seven room sauce, so I'm just gonna flash in, see, seven marks, exhaust, see, I, I still continue with the seven marks, this is infinite, if I hit, I get my shark, so it, this is infinite damage, it's infinite, you just kill the world if they don't kill you, that's basically it, so, crescendo play is around every weapon, every ult, and, you know, you have to always see, so, okay, you're out of crescendo, it's, it's gonna be almost done so the fight is over or whatever or you have like this before the fight whatever so in this switch you know in our weapon order that i teach you we're gonna get purple which means it's a guarantee stun remember if if you have purple it's gonna lead us to, uh, to purple uh, weapon so we can guarantee stun them and guarantee stun gonna lead us we can do anything that we want to them guarantee they can't do anything only uh, QSS and nobody's ever gonna get by QSS for that. So watch this. Watch this octopus combo. This is the most stylish octopus combo that I like. So watch this. Okay, I got my last mark. Okay, I hit that. I do do this. See octopus combo. There is no escape. There is no escape. Did you see that combo? Yeah, the range on it is actually. Uh, okay. Did you see the range? Yeah, the range is like a lot further than I think. See, I I'm gonna throw you the range. So I'm running back. So see, I'm running back. Like while I'm running, I'm still getting my marks. You can finish them from here. There are so many uh, videos on the TikTok and YouTube that I have plays like this. And I'm gonna tell. I wanna tell you one more thing, okay? And I and I forget what I was gonna tell. There are so many details going on in my mind, but um. Can I ask a small question? Of course, of course. Um, does the turret actually apply on hit effects? Or not? Yes, yes. It's basically a. 
uh, affiliates too. It's like Heimer, I don't know Heimer, but you just place it and it's like non moving target. It's hit them, hit them, hit them. And when it hits, it also gives you a mark. Like, main thing is he's hitting them. If you do the attack speed build, he's hitting like tick, 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 tick. It gives you seven, seven marks. And your marks is the most important thing. Your marks has no limitation. Even if you have one attack speed or 25 million attack speed, you can get your marks no, no matter where you are, no matter how slow you are, what happens you. So that's the so important thing. So I'm level level nine. I'm gonna sell the Kraken. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna have to show you something. Hold on, I'm gonna show you something. So. Watch this, okay? Yeah, white gun is the most important gun about art playing. Like nobody gonna realize what it is. They're gonna be like, oh, this is the timer thing or third. <laughs> Let's walk on it. And they're gonna walk and they're gonna just get one mark and they're gonna die two seconds later and they're gonna be like, what the fuck is this 200 year champion? What's going on? Like I, I did this in Masters Elo, I did this in Silver Elo, I did this in a comp game, like a team game, real game. So those are, doesn't matter where you are, they're gonna be surprised about that. I don't know why people don't understand, but so I'm gonna show you. Uh, uh, ask please before we go. Oh no, I was gonna say I got played into a Viego today actually. That was like literally like spamming me in all chat, complaining that he couldn't figure out how to use my champion when he took it over. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, so. so I, yeah, I see you <laughs> yeah. So watch this. Um, this is a basic thing. So what do I have on this person right now? Uh, a mark. Yeah, a mark. So you learned it. It's basic. So. When I have mark, watch this, watch this, watch this. When I have mark, I'm gonna hit this this other target and I'm gonna get my mark afters. And there is no limitations on this one. Watch this. I have mark. I hit this target. Oh wait, I I I cancel my auto attack. Let's do like this before I read my weapon order. So like my attack speed is a lot slower than that, but mark is always works faster. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it one more time. Yeah, it's it's like Wayne Q, like it's it's an animation cancel. So it scales with attack speed a little bit. I'm not, I'm over overreacting a little bit, but um, it's so fast even in the level three, four, whatever. You just get it no matter what, okay? And then um, do you know? Okay, uh, I think on the stream I didn't show the octopus combo yet. I did, but let me tell it again one more time. And then I show you the 200 years combo, and I think you got the basics, and we watch you doing them, and we go to the game, okay? The basic the octopus combo, like you can get your marks with the third, you can uh, add style on it, chat. But I'm just gonna show off just once and I'm gonna go. So, this so, what happens is we use QR in the same time, and when we hit our Q, we get mark and we get our mark. So, while we're getting our mark, our alt hits the target and it gives another mark, and we hit it. So, everything happens in the so close, and you hit like seven, eight times in lower than two seconds. But, other thing is, uh, I want you to go, you guys know. So, when you're this close at the target, watch this now. Did you guys see that difference? You have two seconds, chat. Like for the YouTube, I'm talking about when you think pause the video and think. So, the difference is look, again. This mark landed earlier than this mark. Okay, so that means when you ult from this distance, watch this. I get it, I get it instantly. Now watch this. Okay, yeah. Well, it, it didn't work the way I want to work. Hold on. <laughs> See, it's it's the if when you go further, uh, the dist uh, the time of the land of tomorrow takes longer. So when you're in the bot lane, there's so many times that oh my god, oh, oh I got scared. Uh, there's so many times. Watch this. He has to walk back. It takes longer. We have attack speed right now, great, so it takes a little bit shorter. So this is the basic combo. See, guarantee it when you stun the target. So this is, I think, for your first first uh, session, I think these details are enough. So let's see what you got. So I want you to I want you to restart your game. I mean, it's it's already been an hour, almost, for 48 minutes. But it's okay, I, I, I it's from me. Okay, so I'm going to make it like a test, but I will still help you. So I want you to do, go... Um, use your server, but with the animation cancel. Perfect, perfect.
Uh, rule two, rule two. Hold on, hold on. I want you to do the same thing, but don't get closer to the target. Run back. You're level three, level level four. You're just trading. Oh no 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 no! Perfect, but after you get your mark, just run back. Miss other cues. They do no damage. Yeah. Okay, you can do a little bit better than that. Just get your mark and run away. Directly run away. You're wasting time. Hit Q. Run away. Nice, perfect, perfect, perfect. Make sure that you get your mark though. Do it one more time, but wait now, wait now, wait now. Okay, it's too late. Get your mark and uh, do the combo. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, okay, it's okay. You're learning. Um, can you uh, refresh your mana thing, please? Okay, I want you to uh, waste every weapon that. You, well, no, no, no. We go, okay, you failed this test. We're gonna come back here later when we finish everything, okay? So. Okay. I want you to just do basic octopus combo. Uh, you start with Calibrium, you start with Q and then R, okay? That's why I don't auto first. Uh, Q first and then alt. Okay, wait, 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 don't waste, don't waste your Qs. You, in, in the game you have 10 seconds of cooldown, so you're not gonna be able to use your Q again, so... Yeah, that's, that's kinda, kinda throwing me off. Okay, so uh, you can close that off if you like. Close it. You can just. I want you to do. Listen, listen. The wrong things that you do is you're getting closer to the target when you have the furthest range in the game right now. I want you to use your Infernum Q, and then uh, walk back while doing it, and then stun the person when you are very far away with the purple mark that you get, and then use your ult with the Infernum. Do you understand? Do you want me to go again? I, I don't think I'm understanding it, honestly. Uh, okay, no, no problem, no problem. I, I, it's okay, I will make sure you understand. You, there is no rush, there is no, you know, pressure. I know it's hard, but I'm gonna uh, repeat slowly. So, Calibrim. Okay. You know what Calibrim is? Yeah, it's the sniper, right? Sniper, yeah. So, I want you to use your skill Q uh, with your Calibrim, but we have low ammo on the right. Whenever you see that emblem on the right thing, it means you have less than 10 ammos. So, that means yeah. if you use your skill, we don't have this weapon anymore. That means that. So, just because we have that, um, I'm changing the test right now, so I want you to use your skill with Calibrim Sniper, get your mark, but while this happening, I want you to walk further from the target. So, you just get your mark while you're in the maximum range of your mark. So, you click your mark and you're gonna send the person the purple weapon, which is the stun weapon. So, I want you to stun the person while you're in the furthest range, and I want you to stun it, and I want you to change your weapon again, and we will have blue after this. And I want you to use your ultimate while, while you have the blue gun. And if you're feeling challenging, I will. I can add one more thing. You're feeling challenging? I can add one more thing. Uh, I don't even know if I'm taking in what you just said. So you want me to Q and then auto with the the green weapon or the purple weapon? Like, this is what I mean. Like, this, these switches are actually just breaking my brain. I'm not okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. So I'm going to tell you. So when you're going to hit the target with your Calibrim Sniper, uh, I'm, I'm not calling them autos, I'm calling them marks, okay? So mark means, yeah, just right click them, you don't have to do anything, just get your mark. So, hold on, don't do anything, just just click R to target, nothing else right now, just click R to the target. See, do you see your distance? Yeah. This is your distance, so yeah, this is the mark, that's it. So when I explain it's so long, but it's so simple, right? So I want you to use your Q, not now, Q. And you're gonna get that mark while you're on the maximum distance. Or I want you to do this queue a little bit closer. And while the ammo is on the air, I want you to walk back from the target. So this is the thing, okay? So you're gonna get a mark on the target, right? So I would just uh, wa basically want you to use that use that thing, and you're gonna send purple weapon because it's your secondary weapon you have right now. So that basically, right. yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. I don't need to switch, right? I, I just... Yeah, you will need to switch because you're gonna. Be out of your Calibrim, and you're gonna have Infernum in your hand. So, to able to stun the person, you need Purple in your hand. Understand? Okay. And then, yeah. when you stun the target, I want you to change your weapon to Blue, because we never ult with the Purple. Yes, you can do it sometimes for the pick, very rare, but I always personally prefer Blue ult, because it does a lot more damage, and if there are multiple targets, you kill them all, okay? It's a huge ass damage that we call 200 years. So, that's why I want you to change them. So, I'm gonna go one more time, very slow again. Calibrim Q. You're gonna get your mark. You're gonna walk away a little bit while it's happening. And you're gonna swap your weapon. Purple stun. Swap your weapon again and ult. That's it. Okay. Perfect. Swap weapon. Swap Q. And swap ult. 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 Just ult. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. 
So yeah, you can you can flash in use your uh, old Q too. So I want you to uh, cooldowns, please cooldowns, reset the cooldowns. Yeah. So combo number two, the most famous combo of you know I think everyone but mine. It's most famous with mine. Get your blue to your hands. It's better with red secondary, but you can do it with the purple too. So you're just gonna click R, but don't don't uh, click R, flash Q. R flash Q. See, this is the burst combo, and you swap your weapon and get your stun out of it too. So this is the basic combo. So the combo that we did, you can also do do this after that too. But it's a uh, yeah, this is very simple, right? If if there are multiple targets, they're all dead. Like if in the right situations. But anyways, so right now I just want you to do basic thing. I want you to go stun the dummy, swap your weapon, and just kill it. Just burst, small burst, mid game burst. So swap swap your weapon. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, I I, I got locked in the animation. For Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Nice try. Nice try. Okay. So do you remember this? This is where we came from. I want you to put three targets there and one target away. Caitlyn is away. Oh God. Yeah. This is. Uh... This is a little bit complicated one. Besides the others. Yeah. One more. And we put Caitlyn. Put Caitlyn somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready, or do you want me to explain again? Uh, I'm just like auto queue, then going over here. All right. All right. Um, you have to kill Caitlyn. Yeah. yeah, but I'm auto Q. Uh, you said to auto queue these, right? Yeah, auto queue and then swap weapons, leave your turret to the ground and ult in the same time and flash in and kill Caitlyn. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Like, when, I, like, it's, when I run out of ammo, I can't switch weapons because you get locked in that animation. Yeah, so they're, they're uh, animation, 0 0.5 seconds or something. Yeah, you have to wait and then click W. Make sure that you change the weapon. You can do it slow for now because you're learning. Uh, you know, it's my muscle memory. Swap your weapon and see, when you see that your weapon swap and then leave your turret and then ult and then flash it. Okay, no problem, no problem. Hi, Karbik. Yeah. No problem. So I want you to go. You know the issue. What? It's just that I keep running out of ammo and then like I'm locked in animations. No, that's no, that's why we call them triple weapon combos. Imagine there's no animations like that. Like, it would be so broken. That's why, you know, they're trying to balance it. Imagine like yeah, we... Yeah. I've got to get used to it, I guess. Okay, easy combo right now. Your test is easy now. I just want you to get Crescendum to your hand. And I want you to ult to Caitlyn and flash in and just auto her. That's all. Okay, nice try. Shit, now I want you to ult against like the same thing. But this time, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let me finish and then you can do it. I want you to ult these three targets here. I want you to stay middle of them. I want you to stay middle of them. Yeah, all the three targets. A little bit a little bit more right because you have to be like right next to Caitlyn. So okay, let me explain this while we are here. Go to Caitlyn, just walk to Caitlyn. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Stop. So this range is okay. This range is okay. Alright, this range is okay. It's not got like damage, this range is okay. Like good good damage. L walk a little bit closer. This damage is good. Walk a little bit closer. This is very good. A little bit closer. This is godlike, like, Crescendum works, uh, when you hit the target, the weapon comes back. Whenever the weapon comes back to you, you can hit it again. So there's no attack speed limitation. It scales with the attack speed, but it only a little bit. So if you're close, close to a target, like this, even in level 2, you just shook, 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 like, like a uh, boomerang. So I want you to do nothing, just auto that target when you're this close, 5 times. 3, 4, 5. Now, a uh, little bit further, walk further. Now hit now. Five times. One, two, three, four, five. I now go back closer again. Very close. One, two, three, four, five. And you have no items like that. What the fuck is that attack speed, right? And walk the maximum distance now. Now hit. One, two, three, four. Now flash and do it again. Flash in. One, two, three, four. Five. So another thing, don't waste your ammo. Another thing here. So when you throw your weapon, throw your weapon and flash away from it. Flash away. Uh, hit, hit once, hit once, hit the target and flash away. See, you can't, you cannot steal it while in that that was that is on the air. So I want you to now, I want you to hit, hit the target when you're so far away, and flash in after you hit. See, you get your uh, crescendo faster now. So, on the close range fight, you have to follow your crescendo. So, we're gonna try this combo again. Get your ult and flash again, uh, cooldowns. 
Now I want you to ult and flash in and do the same thing. So you're gonna feel the damage difference because you know now. I'm ulting the three or I'm ulting this one. Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, I see. I didn't flash in close enough. It, yeah, yes, but okay. Perfect. Other thing is, my friend, listen. So I want you to do the same thing, but I want you to flash like that. You're gonna be far away, but after when you're far away, I want you to hit the target and walk closer to hit target. Hit the target and closer. Hit the tar every. Okay, the thing that you're doing right now is mentally yes, but um, when uh, when your uh, Christian is on the air coming back to you, you you can't wait. You have to walk. So I t I show you in the long distance. When your third is coming to you, you have to be keep walking. Don't wait. You're you're a little bit you know learning right now, so you don't know the mechanics. So uh, I think refresh your weapons. Come come back to this weapon order, and I'm gonna show you. Get waste red, waste red. And um, after you finish red, after you finish red, I want you to leave your turret to the ground and do the uh, octopus combo. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, you can yeah, hold on. yeah yeah yeah. Leave your turret first, leave your turret first, you have stacks, so you have to use it, leave your turret first, you have just two ammo, so just leave it, imagine you still have the Severum stacks after you use your Severum Q, okay, walk away, yep, three stack, two, three, you missed three stacks, you you have to get all of your stacks, okay, I, I, I mean marks, marks, those stacks are marks, I'm right, sorry, okay. yeah, I didn't know what you meant by stacks, yeah, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, yeah, sorry, and, the most important thing when you're playing Aphelios is, Getting all of your stacks. Imagine, imagine, you're here right now, right next to the turret. You're having a fight with, um, I don't know, Kali. She's next to you. You're hitting her with your crescendums or whatever, but uh, your turret is in the, you know, in next to the Caitlyn, and you're getting marks from her. So you have to hit uh, Kali next to you while you're getting your marks from Caitlyn from the far in the same time without no, uh, no cancellation. You can do that, and you can kill both in the same time while they have no idea what's going on. So. It's very, very, very detailed and later in the course, I think, for you, but just just saying right now. So, yeah, go back to the crescendo, please. Yeah. We're wasting Calibrum here, Sniper. Yeah. See, you have Mark. Make this muscle memory. Whenever you have a Mark, always use it. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I know to use the Mark, but, like... Sometimes you tell me to, like, you shout at me to stop auto-attacking, and sometimes you want me to auto I just don't know which one I'm supposed to do. So. Yeah, 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 no worries, no worries, no worries. So, now we waste purple. Uh, whichever weapon we just got, we just save it for the next one, okay? It's just the same order all the time now. Okay, do the uh, small burst. Swap, swap the weapon. And Q. Yeah, perfect. This is a uh, small burst with the purple, okay? Okay, just keep wasting. Okay, do a 200 years combo. Alt Q, Alt Flash Q, with Infernum. Do you see the damage? Because they're just grouped up. Perfect, right? Satisfying. Okay, so I want you to do. Um, uh, you're gonna start middle of the all of the targets. Okay, like inhibitors line, inhibitors line. Yeah. Like be be middle of everything. So it's a different training for you. Get Crescendum to your hand. Okay, I want you to uh, hit the three, one of the three targets first, and then get your ammo. But while your uh, crescendum is coming back, I want you to walk through Caitlyn. And when you got your crescendum back, I want you to hit Caitlyn again, and I want you to walk to the other targets. Do you understand? Perfect. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Keep doing it, please. When you hit the target. Run other way. If you hit Caitlyn, run to the three targets. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Keep doing it, please. You're doing good. You know, for the first time. But whoever you're hitting, you, run to, you have to run other way. Yeah, it's... See, this is so many geometry, right? Okay, now, now, last one more thing for today. One more thing for today. I want you to uh, get Severum to your hand, use your skill, get your stacks from it, and I want you to just swap your weapon, alt and flash in, or don't, no flash in. Just use your Severum, 
uh, swap your weapon, use your ultimates, and just hit them. Like you did. Uh, swap weapons. Okay, you, you get stacks now, Sever MQ. Swap, ult. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, oh, it didn't work. Like, I'm, I'm stuck in animations a lot. Like... Like I was like I was pressing my weapon swap like three times there and I don't know like is it because like the chakrams were coming back that I couldn't weapon swap or like what what stopped it? Um, nothing stopped. It. You just I think forgot the change. Like you just swapped the crescendum that was perfect. No, like I pressed my, I pressed my W like four times and it just wouldn't switch. Okay, press W now. And press it again. Like, press 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 always press. Do you see there's a little bit you know uh t thing on the screen? It says face the blue thing. Yeah yeah. So this is the thing that you only can't use it. Uh, That's yeah, all. I don't know what happened then, but I, I literally pressed my, my W like four times and the weapon didn't swap. I don't know why. Okay, use Q now. Use Q. Now click W. Use Q of Severim. Click W. You can swap your weapon. See? that There's a, you know, skill cancellations too. Yeah, like if I'm doing this, I can't, I can't swap. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Perfect, perfect. Swap weapons. Use Q, R, you see, perfect, keep playing it, without ruining your weapon or ammo, keep playing it. Don't you ruin your weapon ammo, keep playing it, yeah. Okay, get purple to your hand, get purple to your hand. Stun the target and swap weapons and use your Q. Oh, this is this is because of you have auto, auto cooldowns on, so you just swap so quickly. So, okay. Use purple, swap weapons. Yeah, good, but you forget to auto auto attack it. Remember, for every every skill, we always use our auto. Yeah, keep playing it. Yeah, continue. So we have twelve ammo just in mines. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Slow, but this is what I'm talking about. Now waste the purple. Waste the purple. Not the purple. Yep. My bad. No worries. Okay, now waste the blue. So this is our starting order. We're just fixing it. This time I don't want you to do that uh, combo. Okay, so same again. I want you to use your Severum Q and then swap your weapon and use your alt file you have right in your hand and flash into Caitlyn. Perfect. Um, you have to use your alt and then flash. Okay, but very nice try. And the other thing is while you're using your Severum uh, weapon, you're so fast, so just keep moving, dodge stuff, or uh, make a better geometry for Caitlyn, get close to Caitlyn, okay? Okay, let's see again. Uh, it says cooldowns off or on. Now it's on, make it off. Okay, yeah. let's go. Very nice try, but yeah, we forgot to solve our weapons. So you get a uh, life uh, heal instead of stacks, so nice try, very good, good improvement. Try again. Perfect. Don't forget to move. Uh, my, uh, I don't even know what happened there. No problem, no problem. So, whenever you use your, if you're gonna use your alt flash combo, always alt first. And we have animation while we use alt, which is longer than usual. Wait that and then flash in. Like, alt always first, okay? In this situation. Yeah. Alright. Uh, one, one, one more time. Am I supposed to be picking up marks on these three people as well? No, there's no marks. You get marks with only Calibrum or Turret. So when you have when you have crescendum, you're gonna do, okay. Keep playing. You forget that you forget to switch weapons. You have to alt while you have crescendum in your hand. So oh, yeah, because you get the healing instead of the yeah. Good thing. Whatever weapon you have, you in your hand. If you alt with that, you get the passive of it. So you forget to change again. Uh, yeah, I think it's because I run out of ammo. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 the animation thing. So I guess um, we need to. I, I get it now though. Yeah, you'll learn. I think we're supposed to continue this training before we go into the real game. I, I don't think we're able to execute anything. So I think for today, um, let's say that's it. And tomorrow, if you like to continue like we talked, we can continue and you know do this and we can go to real game. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good? Yes, sounds good. very good. Alright, I appreciate your time and I'll see you later. Kill.